surprised we're about what 50 minutes in the episode and we have only barely acknowledged the the major accomplishment that uh that our friend here has has uh, achieved but first of all formal congratulations second of all how do you how do you feel like can you describe it um i'll say that it's uh it was a really cool feeling um is one of those things that you work really hard for, and then once it actually, uh, once it actually happens, you don't really know how to react. So obviously, like everyone saw, like the post game interview, I got a little emotional. But um, it's uh, thinking about it now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm excited that I can kind of go back and tell people tell kids when I go back to like camps and throughout my foundation say hey like if you put your mind to something like you work really hard and you truly believe and if people around you truly believe in you like you can achieve anything you want so and I think that sits well with me because I'm not a person who's like six seven who's blazing speed who's super athletic who's like a a person that you would go in a lot for a lottery pick mm -hmm. like I'm an average size human I'm one of the smallest people on the court almost at all times um so I can say that I can probably associate with like kids and like younger people who may not have like those abilities that they that they can't control but I can teach and help kids learn how to kind of Use the stuff that you do have, and then make it how you want to make it. I don't know if that makes sense For to sure. you, but basically, I want kids to understand that like, whatever you do, like you work at what you work at, um, you can literally do whatever you want. And so, that being on my mind the past couple of days, that's what's really resonated with me. But obviously, I'm excited. This is an opportunity that I've been dying for, and so yeah. um, hopefully, it's not my last. I'll say that. For sure. You proud of him? I was happy for him. Obviously, you know, I've seen the work since since college, and obviously there was so much before then. Um, it's cool now you see, like, little little videos and all that for, with him and Rick when he was a kid. But um, I've seen the work, and uh, it's cool for it to actually, you know, for him to get here. Obviously, you know, as a kid, you always dream of being an all-star. dream of being in the NBA, dream of being an all-star. So he he he's got to that. So that's that's dope. And obviously, you know, Juju got got his. And I was actually I was really happy for Juju because I thought, you know, if he's got injured. I was like, I was like, oh, they're not gonna they're not gonna vote him in because the injury is not gonna play. But I was I was happy with that man because you know the the work that they you know both of them put in in the gym you know all hours. Um, you know they're they're the they're the head of the snake. So it's been dope just to see the progression of him, obviously, and and, and how Jews played this year. So it's you know it's it's going well. Yeah, going back to when you first met Jalen, if you had, had like a crystal ball and you looked into it, you're like you're playing with NBA All Star. What would you have said? Um, honestly, I thought Jalen would have been a I, and people told me, I asked me before, they're like, what do you think of him? I'm like, he's going to be a solid 10, 12 year, you know, PG who's going to be, you know, he can start, come off the bench, um, but someone who's going to just be, be solid. And, and like, that's what I, you know, that's what I, you know, I saw, that's what I thought. And I think, you know. Which at the time is also an amazing compliment. Yeah, it's is solid. Crazy. I mean, you can make a, a, a good living. Um, a good career doing doing you know playing like that but I don't think anybody but him and Rick really saw like you know what what he could be and um you know the the first you know real um you know taste that people got of him um was uh <laughs> the the playoffs when Luga got hurt I think yeah, it was like thirty three against um, um, Utah, uh, and that was like when people really got to see that. And then that's why I was like, okay, he's, you know, 
always he played well this whole this whole year, but like he's he's ready to 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 run a team. And um, you know, it's been cool, you know, now that he he got the keys, you know, he's you know he he's rocking out. That's for sure.